Good day everyone and welcome to Model Log. Here's part one of the Redemptor Dreadnought Macroplasma project. As a recap, the objective of this project is to take this macroplasma mounted on the left arm, right arm, I apologize, of the Redemptor Dreadnought, remove the plasma coils that you see on either side of the barrel and replace it with an acrylic tube or an acrylic cylinder, it's not a tube. So this part of the project will involve that. I will not be talking about adding LEDs or power to this yet. That comes in the subsequent videos. Now I thought for quite a while about how I wanted to remove these uh, coils and the fast way the quick way and the, the thing that springs to mind fastest would be to use a rotary tool or something like that and basically hack away at it um, that would probably help me do that in you know minutes but I hesitate to because um, the rotary tool regardless of the bit that you use uh, will inadvertently cause a bit of trouble and a bit of damage on the outside no matter how careful you are um, especially for someone like me so I'm going to score the plastic with an exacto knife um, and hopefully once I've scored it enough it will actually uh, come free um, why that will allow me to actually be incredibly precise and not color out of the lines as it were so you'll go into a time lapse um, as I do this and uh, we'll be back once I've succeeded in uh, removing the plasma coils from both halves of my macro plasma Well now, I've uh, hacked away one half of my macroplasma and it was an ordeal. But uh, I'm going to tell you what I learned so you don't make the same mistakes as me. Now the macroplasma is actually very well made, um, if I say so myself, because those coils actually go in pretty deep. Um, it's not a simple uh, uh, matter of just taking away like a shell of plastic actually it's it's quite deep in there it's quite fine then you'll see um in there that there's quite a fair amount of thickness uh to the plastic around the coils so um i wouldn't recommend just uh scoring it with your knife i really messed up my knife it's really blunt now so um i wasn't very happy with uh with how that turned out while i managed to remove all the plastic i need it is pretty messy um, so i'm going to try something different with the other half um, hopefully it does a little bit better um, thankfully i did not harm too much of the the external surface of the macroplasma i did a little bit of scrape off there and i overcut a little bit there nothing a bit of green stuff won't fix uh, but uh, I'm going to try something different uh, for the next thing. So I'm going to think about it and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to take my pin vise and drill a hole that's big enough for my exacto saw to fit through. And this saw is probably going to see me through the entire thickness of, of that macroplasma coil. Um, I think it'll work. Um, my backup plan is to take a rotary tool with a drill bit head and just push it through almost like a CNC um, cutter. But uh, let's see how this goes and um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll play by ear and you know, I, I make the mistakes so that you don't have to. So let's see what happens. Huh?
Okay, so the update is uh, it's probably taking too long. Um, I'm going in with the the rotary tool. So uh, let's see what happens. And uh, here we are. Um, I I picked a bit, and uh, I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, if you're going to be working with power tools and plastic, please do it um, near a ventilator window. I'm doing this near an open window, um, and wear a, um, a respirator if you have one. And if you don't, please take regular breaks. Um, I always say if you're going to help someone be a better person, be a role model and don't be a cautionary tale. So uh, I am going to wear a ventilator, uh, a respirator and work next to an open window. See how long that took to get all the way through. So it does work uh, to some degree. I am quite unhappy to have overshot it slightly. Uh, I am not a CNC router, so I wouldn't recommend this. I'm just being lazy and I'm just going to patch everything up with green stuff later on. But um, I, I like where this is going, so I'm just going to keep going and, and uh, hopefully I'm not going to make too much of a mistake and too, too, too irreversible uh, a, uh, an error uh, at this point in time. So um, again, I'm gonna forward, fast forward through this entire process. And there we are again. Um, okay, messy, um, sort of a messy job, but I didn't lose any of the sharp corners. And uh, right now, I can very happily put these two halves together and say, there's space in there for that plastic um, cylinder. I'm going to have to trim that cylinder down so it'll fit in. I'm also going to have to core out some of the, the space in there so that the cylinder fits uh, you know, nice, nicely on the outside of this thing. Um, I do realize at this point that I'm going to have to do a little bit of sculpting of that plastic cylinder as well. There's no way that I can get that thin enough. Uh, so that it is similar to the way the uh, original plastic, because the original plastic, the coils went all the way up to the edge, and there was actually just a very thin frame around this. There's no way I'm going to be able to trim this neatly uh, to that degree. So I'm going to have to use a little bit of imagination here as to how I'm going to fit that cylinder in there. Um, obviously, it's not going to have, it, it can't be an unbroken uh, piece anymore carrying the light from one end to the other. I don't think it's uh, practical uh, to try and do, do all that, uh, but I will try and get as close as possible. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim out uh, as much of that as possible and tidy up, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so I've cleaned it up as much as I could, um, thinned out, thinned out the framework, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna green stuff um, all of the uh, spaces that I think should be green stuffed, and uh, we'll get back uh, right after that. I'm back. My green stuff has cured, um, filled up as much of the gaps uh, as I could. And um, I even started messing around with uh, my acrylic cylinder. Um, no, um, I don't think it's worth the trouble hacking this into a shape that can fit in that window over there. So I'm going to do something a lot simpler. So these are straws. 
plastic transparent straws and uh, they do carry uh, the light uh, fairly well you can you can see um, that they do provide a very decent uh, glow uh, that I'm I'm very very happy with so uh, I'll be taking the easy way out and putting these in my uh, macro plasma and, and I actually think that they're almost the perfect diameter uh, to fit in there so I'm gonna cut uh, a length out that'll fit that perfectly and I'll start to trim it into the shape that I need I don't need that much straw uh, but I'm glad I have some spare because of my propensity for uh, making mistakes but that's what I'm going to do um, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Now, all done. Um, I managed to fit this in and I'm going to light it up for you to see uh, what it looks like. There we go. I'm very happy with what I have. Uh, couldn't, be, couldn't be happier. Um, once I've uh, done all my painting, uh, I'm going to put this together. Now, I can consider this a sub-assembly and, you know, get, get the uh, wiring uh, done up first before uh, I glue everything together. And that's the next video. So, uh, please like and subscribe, comment, ask me questions, uh, give me suggestions. Um, I would very much appreciate that as well. Um, and um, if you do subscribe and I hit uh, my subscriber target before January the 16th, uh, I will give away uh, my Aspen Locano uh, miniature, fully painted and illuminated with LEDs and fiber optics. So you can see that in my Aspen Locano videos. But you do stand a chance to win uh, that mini if you subscribe. Thank you so much. Uh, I really do appreciate uh, your comments. Uh, this is a pretty new uh, channel, but I've already uh, started speaking to, to you in the comment section. And I do look forward to that uh, every time uh, I, I see a message or a notification. So please do so. And uh, I'll see you next time.